Somebody to Love by Kristen Higgins is a contemporary romance novel that tells the story of Parker Wells, a children's book author from a wealthy family who is forced to reinvent her life after her father's financial scandal results in the loss of her inheritance. Parker has always lived a privileged life, but she is also generous and kind-hearted, frequently donating to charities and genuinely caring for others. She's particularly close to her five-year-old son, Nikki, whom she's raising alone since the boy's father, Ethan Mirabelli, chose to have little to do with him following a brief affair with Parker. As the scandal hits, Parker's world is turned upside down when her father, Harry Wells, is jailed for insider trading and her trust fund is seized. The only thing left to her name is a decrepit house in Gideon's Cove, Maine, a small coastal town. Intent on selling the property quickly to provide some financial stability for her and her son, Parker heads to Maine, only to discover that the house is in worse condition than she'd feared. It's here that she crosses paths with James Cahill, her father's lawyer and the man she's always despised for his unflinching loyalty to Harry. James, known to be diligent and a little rough around the edges, has always harbored feelings for Parker, but kept them hidden due to their social differences and his own insecurities about his past. Despite their mutual dislike, James arrives in Gideon's Cove to help Parker fix the house. He's following Harry's instructions as a condition for keeping his job, as Harry hopes to make amends with his daughter from prison. A carpenter by trade and a lawyer by profession, James has the skills to help and sees it as his final obligation to her father. Reluctantly, Parker agrees to accept James' help, sensing that she has no other choice given her lack of funds and the enormity of the renovation task ahead. As they work side by side, the tension between Parker and James begins to shift. They challenge and argue with each other, but they also start to peel back the layers of misunderstanding and judgment that have always kept them at odds. Parker struggles with the realities of her new life, including small-town gossip, the difficulty of manual labor, and the challenge of making ends meet. Nevertheless, she begins to find joy in the simplicity of her less affluent lifestyle. She makes new friends, becomes part of the community, and starts to appreciate the beauty and peace of Gideon's Cove. Her son Nikki adapts to their new life, finding happiness in the small-town environment. All the while, Parker continues to write her children's books, finding inspiration in her surroundings and her growing connection with James. Over time, Parker and James bond over shared experiences and hardships, their initial animosity developing into a deeper understanding and respect for each other. The more time they spend together, the more the chemistry between them grows. Despite their best efforts to keep things professional, they eventually give in to their attraction, beginning a tentative romance. However, several obstacles stand in their way. James struggles with his self-worth and his belief that he is not good enough for Parker, given his own family's past misfortunes. Parker must come to terms with her changing life and what it means for her and Nikki, in addition to wrestling with her feelings for James and the fallout from her father's crimes. Just as Parker and James seem to be finding their way to each other, a series of revelations and events threaten their budding relationship. Parker's newfound sense of independence makes her ambivalent about pursuing a future with someone, and James' secrets and feelings of inadequacy add to the tension. Moreover, Ethan, Nikki's father, re-enters their lives, causing further complications and making Parker question her choices. Facing their individual demons, Parker and James break up, each thinking it's for the best. Parker focuses on her son and her writing, while James contemplates leaving town and the sorrow of a lost love. The separation, however, only serves to highlight their true feelings for each other, making them realize the depth of their connection. In the end, Parker and James must decide whether they can put aside their fears and past hurts to take a chance on love. With encouragement from friends and an understanding that they are stronger together than apart, the two find their way back to each other. Parker learns to embrace change and forgiveness, while James accepts his worth and his right to happiness. The story concludes with Parker and James in a happy relationship, facing the future together in Gideon's Cove. 
Parker's relationship with her father begins to heal as Harry is released from prison and tries to make amends. Nikki enjoys having both James and his father in his life, benefiting from the diverse family dynamics. Parker's last act of renovation is turning the old house into a loving and welcoming home for her, James, Nikki, and any new adventures life may bring. Through her journey, Parker discovers that sometimes you have to lose everything to find what really matters, and that love can come from the most unexpected places, even from someone you once thought you could never love. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.